welcome to episode 18.5. Right, over the last six mini episodes uh, of deck openings, we got a couple of interesting decks, which we're going to give one of them away. Um, so what we have is there is two, oh, sorry, two horseman decks, uh, and a... Uh, Brobnar, Logos, Untamed deck with this little fella in. So we have an Imperial Traitor Maverick. So first up, oop, wrong way around, we have Keepers of the Aquamarine. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go through all the decks, um, show you what's in them, um, basically my thoughts for what they're worth, uh, what I like about some of the stuff out at the moment, uh, and then, as it says, there, uh, if you comment on the video with the name of the deck that you would like to win, this time next week, before I do my live show uh, for uh, X-Wing, I will do a quick live um, draw with everyone's name, and I will send them the deck that they chose. Any of the three. It can be the Maverick deck. It can be either of the Horseman decks. And one of them, I think one of them is quite interesting. I wouldn't say it was very powerful, but I would say it was interesting. So, to be in with the chance, comment on the video, and I'd like you to subscribe if you would. That's only the two things. Uh, I'm not expecting you to share the video or anything like that. Just like the video, put a comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot more. Uh, Keyforge content, we're getting more and more bits and pieces through, uh, we're going to get set up for some games, and obviously uh, off the back of the shop we can do daft little giveaways like this. So, in the Keepers of Aquamarine, um, the first card in the deck is the Brobnar Coward's End. Um, Destroy each undamaged creature and gain three chains. It's a pretty brutal card, hence the three chains. Um, I've got a deck with three of them in, with my other horsemen. Uh, with, sorry, with one of my horsemen decks. With the likelihood that horsemen will probably get some sort of chaining or something like that. I'm a bit worried that it's going to be a 20... Um, a 20 chain, chain deck before... Uh, before I even get to play half the cards. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a good card, it's powerful, um, especially for it being a common as well. We then have two uncommon of Sound of the Horns. Discard the top card from your deck. Um, discard, uh, either discard a Brobnar creature or until you, uh, until you either discard a Brobnar creature or run out of cards. If you discard a Brobnar creature, put it into your hand. A uh, bit of search. Uh, then we have a Tremor, stun uh, a creature uh, and each of its neighbours. We have an unguarded camp for each creature you have in excess of your opponent. A friendly creature captures one. Each creature cannot capture more than one this way. Uh, again, it's capturing. Uh, grenade Snib, uh, when it's destroyed, uh, your opponent loses two. Head on, uh, when you fight, you gain one. Uh, smash, stun a creature when you play it. Smash, stun a creature when you play it. Smash, stun a creature when you play it. Yeah, a lot of smash. Uh, there's your healing trolls. And then your Windrunner. I'm wondering if your Windrunner is going to... Um, return the three smashes to your hand. That uh, could be quite a nasty 
level of stun. Um, then we have the Logos. Um, starting out with a Dimension Door. Uh, for the remainder of the turn, any you would gain from Reaping is stolen from your opponent instead. Stealing in this game is really good. So it's a really good me mechanic. Uh, two Fogifies. Your opponent uh, cannot use the creatures to fight next turn. Uh, one lab work. Archive a card when you play it. Two Twin Bolt emissions. So you're doing two lots of two, sorry, two lots of two lots of two damage. Yeah. Um, one of the best pieces of art in the game. Wild Wormhole. Play the top card of your deck. Could be quite interesting. Uh, there's your Brain Eater. After a creature is destroyed fighting, Brain Eater, draw a card. Dizania, um, your opponent discards each of their archived cards. You gain one ember for each of the card decided this way. Situational, but again, it is it's a rare. Again, the rares seem to be situational. And... Um, not only that, you don't get many of them. Uh, Ganymede, Activist. Um, when you reap your archive card. Um, Vespalant, Thirty Wrist. Elusive, uh, Reap. Choose a house, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's of that house, archive it and gain one ember. Otherwise, discard it. And the Maverick. Shadows Maverick, I believe. Um, look at your opponent's hand. You may choose and purge a Sanctum card in it. That's a good way to get rid of uh, Horseman of Death. Once he's gone, he's gone. Um, and then over to the Untamed. Cooperative Hunting. Deal one for each friendly creature. Divide it up. Uh, full Moon. For the remainder of the turn, gain one Ember each time you play a creature. There's eight creatures in uh, the Untamed side, so... Destroy each damaged creature, gain one chain. That goes along with Coward's End, so... Um, so you've got destroy each creature, uh, each damaged creature, and destroy each undamaged creature. Yes, it affects your own, but playing them when you've got no damage or when you have damage can negate that uh, Vigor helps you negate that <laughs> deal up to 3 damage from a creature if you heal 3 gain 1 ember the hazardous briar grubbling um, the ember pixie sorry dust pixie that brings your ember in 2 inca the spiders 2 rares um, Inca has poison, so any damage dealt by this creature's power during the fight phase destroys the damaged creature. Death touch. Um, and then play or reap, you stun a creature. So when it comes into play, it stuns something, and there's two of them in there. All the poison creatures seem to be one, uh, one power, so it's you've got to make sure you don't hit armor or anything like that. But other than that, I, I do like the. Uh, the poison mechanic. Nifflip. Um, Nifflip can ignore taunt. Sorry, there's two Nifflips in there. Cannot uh, can uh, ignore taunt and elusive. So pretty strong. And then the Niffle Queen. For each friendly beast creature, each other friendly beast creature gets plus one power. Uh, each other friendly Niffle creature gets plus one power. So if you've managed to get the Nifflip in, they're five power. And then finally is Witch of the Eye. Return a card from your discard pile to your hand. So I think there's quite a bit of... Um, there's quite a lot of bits and pieces that can bounce off each other. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting deck to play. So I, I'll be honest with you. If it doesn't get chosen, I'm, 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 I might take that one. So that's Keepers of the Aquamarine. Um, it's a nice little deck. So we have Dancer, Gianna, Cave, 
Cthune. Um, this has the four horsemen in and some other um, nice bits and pieces. Some of them I've not really come across. So what was what was the one I was looking at? Silvertooth. Um, oh, that's Silvertooth. That's yeah, that's quite nice. Um, again, shadows, shadows, sanctum, Brobna. So you've got sneaky, you've got the horseman, and you've got um, protection from things like shield justice, and you've got Brobna, smashy, fancy, ouch. So, the dancer deck comes with one urchin. First time this creature is attacked each turn, no damage is dealt for elusive, and you steal an ember. So as soon as it comes into play, you're nicking one of your opponent's ember. Um, Umbra, skirmish. Again, um, the opposite side of elusive, but again, when it fights, it steals one. So another steal. So, then Silvertooth. Three of them. They all just jump into play and instantly ready. So, if you've got two or three of them in your hand, that's like bang, bang, bang. I'll reap three times. There you go. I've got three ember on the same turn that I played them. Um, another thief. Sorry, another steel mechanic. Dodger. And Noddy the Thief. So, two lots of stealing. This is a very, very thief heavy deck. Um, oh, God, I wish I could keep all of these decks. <laughs> um, that I do, as I said, the two of my favourite mechanics are poison and stealing. Um, it won't go as much of a shock that while playing. Um, D and D, I always like to play the rogue. So, relentless whisper, deal two damage to a creature. If this damage destroys the creature, steal an ember. Stealing again. Poison wave, deal two damage to each creature. Nice to play when you've got no creatures. Uh, nerve blast, steal one. If you do, deal two. Then, the much wanted bait and switch. If your opponent has more ember than you do, steal one. Repeat this card's effect as long as the opponent still has more ember than you. So it could be a good for two or three. Or you could get ten out of it. it just depends how good a turn um, your opponent had last turn and to how much you're going to take off him. So you play that and then you start stealing with your other cards. So, continuing with the theme... Uh, we have two sequences or sequences who capture when they reap as well. So they take one for themselves and then they also capture one. Again with this theme of all the stealing, all the taking um, and stuff like that. Uh, Grey Monk. Um, each friendly creature's gain plus one armour and you heal two damage from a creature when you reap. Uh, two shields of justice. A remainder of the turn, each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. That's pretty good. Um, again, when you're going to have uh, things like Silvertooth and stuff like that. Um, it's worth trying to cheat. I don't know if this deck has any ways to... I was just checking. Uh, go on, ready and fight with an active... There is ways to cheat characters into um, fighting and stuff like that, so it might be worth it for the uh, the lesser powerful ones. Uh, clear mind, unstunned each friendly creature. Two cleansing waves. Uh, heal one damage f um, from each creature. Gain one ember for each creature healed this way. And then you have the horseman. Horseman of War. For the remainder of this turn, each friendly creature can be used as if it was, if it were the active house, but can only fight. So that, along with, as I just said, um, Shield of Justice. For the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. So if you've got all of your um, 
low power shadow creatures out. Play Horseman of War. Play Shield of Justice. And that's a lot of um, hits for taking no damage. Uh, Pestilence. Deal one damage to each non-horseman creature. If you use that on yourself. And then... Um, cleansing Wave. So you damage everything you've got for one. And then you heal everything you've got for one. Um, depending on how many creatures you're out. It could be a good way to farm Ember. Uh, destroy the least powerful creature. Obviously do that when you've got... Um, more powerful creatures than your opponent obvious uh, horsemen to get your horsemen back uh, then going into Brobnar you have the mighty troll uh, 8 power uh, it heals 3 every time it reaps you've got the mugwump which is the rare so after an enemy creature is destroyed fighting mugwump fully heal mugwump and give it a plus 1 counter so you could use that to beat up um, little one, two, three cost characters. Give them a, a quick, swift booting, uh, and it can be up as as strong as a troll, and fully healed again in no time. Um, and you could probably do it on the same turn if you play Ganger Chieftain after you've already attacked with uh, Mugwump. Um, you may ready and fight with a neighbouring creature. So up he jumps again. Uh, Earthshaker, when it comes in, destroy each creature with power 3 or lower. I'm noticing this deck has a lot of power 5 creatures, uh, especially the Brobnar and the Sanctum. And two Bumpsies. Your opponent loses an Amber. Again, I think it's pretty pretty decent that, again, two more uh, power five creatures. Um, it's not going to trigger off. Um, well, hopefully, it's not going to trigger off um, being the lowest power for um, the horseman or any of the other card effects. Uh, Gauntlet of Command. Um, ready and fight with a friendly creature, and that's a two of. War song. So the remainder of the turn, gain one uh, gain one ember each time a friendly creature fights. So that's um you've got eight in here that are going to be possibly fighting one or two times, depending on what um Brobnar cards you've got. Uh, and there's deal one damage uh, deal three damage to a creature. And then another one loot the bodies for the remainder of the turn um, gain one ember each time an enemy creature is destroyed so both that and war song are quite powerful at the same time so it fights and kills something it gains two if those are both played and then another way to control your opponent's ember if if your opponent has seven or more they lose four you don't gain it but at the end of the day they're not forging a key something I didn't do for the first deck and I'll go back through um, so ember producers one two three four five six so it has a low ember production um, so cards that produce ember themselves so there's a low amount there but there's a lot of stealing from the shadow side of stuff. Um, there's not what well, there was nothing there. So creatures five five seven five six eight five five five. So they're all. Um, that's all the uh, creatures. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 creatures in the deck. So it's quite a heavy creature deck of which 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. Eleven of them are five or higher. So there's some there that you can bop away to, like the urchin and stuff like that. When they come in and go back out, they're, they're all doing stuff. Um, it's always good to look for the playabilities, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine playabilities um, from the creatures. They're all actions. Cleansing waves and action heal, action axe. Bait and switch is always going to be a good card. So, albeit it's not brilliant on the Ember production out of hand, it has ways to steal it and take it from your opponent. So you just sit there and wait for your opponent to make something and, and nick it off them. Um, the keepers of action. Sorry, that was the dancer um, deck. So, comment on the video. Name that one, and you could win that one. Just gonna randomly pick someone, uh, probably out of a hat or out of a paper bag or something like that. Don't have hat. So, um, I'll go quickly back to the keeper's aquamarine and do the same for that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we have 19 creatures uh, in this deck. Um, one of which is the double ember producing ducks, dust duck pisk. Duck Pixie, Pisty, Pick, Duck Pixie, Duck, Dust Pixie. Um, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven single producers of Ember. So there's quite a lot of one shot Ember production. Dust prick, pixie, prixie. Oh god. For two, and then a couple of actions. There is two board wipes in this deck. There was, there was no board wipes in the last deck, um, so to speak. I'm just throwing these all over the floor. So. The other one, I don't think you want to be um, board wiping because you want to steal and you want to you want to be killing stuff to get your ember. Uh, I think that's the best way for you to get the ember. So the final one is Yara, Quick Harbor Tiebreaker. Again, Osman deck, um, Dis Mars Sanctum. So we'll do the we'll go through card by card to start with. And then we have. Two sequis. So again, two more ways of capturing amber. Um, a raiding knight uh, to capture amber. Uh, Lady Maxina to stun a character and return it to your hand. Stun a character, return it to your hand, and uh, continue. Four horsemen. They don't need any introduction anymore. We went through them in the last uh, deck. Um, portion of invulnerability, uh, Omni. Um, it can be sacrificed at any time for the remainder of the turn. Friendly creatures cannot be dealt damage. So, that could be good for protecting your Mars. Take hostages. For the remainder of the turn, each time a creature, friendly creature fights, it captures one ember. Again, this is very capture. Uh, inspiration. Uh ready and use a friendly creature so you can reap you can use its ability or anything like that you don't have to fight um, each player with six or more is reduced to five again stop someone um, 
pushing out the key drop them below one uh, drop them one below and on the next turn they haven't produced the key and you can then look for more ways to deal with it so now we go into the mars um yixlo bolter um whether he fights or eats he deals two um damage to a creature if the damage destroys the creature that creature purge it this is a good way to deal with um things like the horseman you can't death can't bring a horseman back that's been purged um there seems to be a lot of cards that people are, are valuing more now for what seems to be uh, what people are wanting to call the horseman meta um and yeah there's plenty of ways to deal with them out there um yeah, then we have two mind warpers two power elusive choose an enemy creature it captures one from its own side so until that creature dies it's stuck on on that sort of thing uh and then we've got grumid grumid um you cannot play creatures after an enemy creature is destroyed fighting Gromid, your opponent loses an ember. Losing an ember is a lot better than capturing because it actually goes into your pile and doesn't just fall back on when Gromid dies. Um, so then we have Mother Gun. Uh, reveal any number of Mars cards in your hand. Deal damage to a creature equal to that to the number of Mars cards revealed that way. Um, it's a good way to plink something from like, well, one to five really. Uh, combat fem Pheromones. It's an artifact, Omni, again, there's a couple of Omni artifacts in this deck. Sacrifice, and you may use up to two Mars cards this turn. So it makes, it's an Omni card, it's an Omni artifact that makes two other cards technically Omni. Uh, soft Landing, uh, the next creature or artifact you play this turn comes in ready. Psychic Network, Steel, one Ember for each friendly Mars creature. So if you've got a lot of Mars creatures out, you're doing the stealing, which is better than the capturing. Mating season, one that I'm not too impressed with. Shuffle each Mars creature into its owner's deck. Each player gains one for each creature shuffled into their deck this way. One of the ways I've seen this played was in a mirror match, Mars versus Mars. Um, he had nothing out. He basically went, there you go. Um, put all five of your Mars back into your deck get five um, amber and then proceeded to steal the amber off him So, uh, and then key abduction return each Mars creature to its owner's hand then they may forge a key at plus nine ember at plus nine ember of the, at plus nine ember current costs reduce one ember for each card in hand that's an obvious combo yeah Hypnotic Command, for each friendly creature, Mars creature, choose an enemy creature to capture one from its side. Again, another way of um, stalling. It's not going to... Uh, it's not going to stop your opponent, but it's a way to stop. Um, reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand. For each card revealed this way, draw one card. And that is the Mars so now we go on to the disc which I, th I like the disc part so we have Snudge who is a demon um, return an artifact or flank creature to its owner's hand uh, yep yeah. that's fighting or reaping so you could reap and your opponent loses a basically loses a, a card in his lineup um Again, play if your opponent has four more, steal one. That's, again, stalling your opponent out, making sure they don't get the key. Shuffles. Two copies. Um, at the at the end of your turn, your opponent loses one ember. So if you have both of them out, they're losing two ember a turn. So they've got to do some pretty significant em ember farming to get the keys out. Uh, Charette. Again, capture three be better if it was steel three but yeah then three fates twice three fates is destroy the three most powerful creatures 
Um, in this deck, it's if you've got uh, death in your hand, it's not too bad losing a horseman. Um, if you're getting rid of some big things on the other side of the table, because death can just pop him back out. Uh, Poltergeist, use an artifact controlled by any player. If it were yours, then destroy. Oh, so destroy that artifact. So there's two of them. So that there's a way of dealing with artifacts. And then the uh, gateway to death. Destroy each creature. So you're killing your own and you're killing your opponents and gaining three chains. Two of them in the deck. Sometimes they can be the only way out of a, um, a sticky situation. Uh, unfortunately. And then you have fear itself. Uh, return an enemy creature to the owner's hand. It's, again, there's a lot of a lot of things in this deck to um, deal with stuff. So let's have a look for Ember production. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven ways to make Ember off single cards. Um, one artifact, ten actions. So you can play them just to produce your ember. You don't need to um, be able to do the stuff on it, sort of thing. Uh, actions. So creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 creatures, a couple of artifacts. Um, I think there was two board wipes. Um, generally, a few ways to deal with stuff. So, again, I think some of these decks are going to be quite uh, powerful and sought after because they're not just a... Uh, a one trick pony with the horseman they've got other things in there so I wouldn't say it was as good as Dancer um, going down the fact that it's a lot of capture I'm not a big fan of capture myself but it's got a lot of way to stop your opponent which is sometimes the way forward you stall your opponent out long enough that you can eke out your amber from uh, other sources by stealing you eventually get to your steel stuff. So that's Yara. Um, if you want to be in a chance with winning uh, Yara, comment in the um, comment on the video. All comments to go to the video. Um, um, we won't be checking the the shared posts and stuff like that. So comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe to it, please. And you've got the chance of winning. Um, one of the three decks from tonight so there's another question um, and you can also post in the pages and I'm going to be asking this one how do you value a deck that is not necessarily a good deck but has an amusing name so this is one we got today is the trauma that expects the club um, it's uh, Brobnar, Shadows, um, this, not a bad deck, it's not something that people are going to pay £1,600 for or anything like that, but the name is, yeah, it's it's just a, a bit of a giggle name, but how would people value it, what would you pay for a, a deck, I'm not talking about the banned ones, because the banned ones are going to be in their own world of their own, people wanting a certain band name or a certain band type, Let's comments on what you think the trauma that expects the club would be worth um, mainly to a collector just someone that were obviously not an uh, animal rights activist or anything like that because that's not, not right so um, episode 18.5 that's tonight's episode from me and Khalifi Dragon um and, and obviously, I keep forgetting to mention uh, Garados from another old card game. 
if you want the chance to win, put the name of the deck into the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Um, lots more content to come. As I say, I will probably do more of these. Uh, we're opening... I think we've opened up... Oh, we've opened over 300 decks now um, for the... Um, for the shop uh, as they sell when I'm not taking any money from them uh, till this is long 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 down the line what I'm wanting to do is every deck that sells we're buying more so we're giving the service to you guys for being able to pick what you want uh, and keep an eye out because sometimes these decks go so fast we've had two um, two Maverick decks three Maverick decks go within about 20 minutes of them being put up and the two Horseman decks went up within about 10 minutes the only concern we've got is people have bought some of the decks to sell for a profit uh, and if anyone's got any idea on how to circumvent that and basically get the decks to the people if not we may have to start charging a little bit extra for the better decks just so they don't get taken to resell don't like doing it which is uh, one of them things so that's enough for me uh, as I say comment on the video which deck you would like to win like the video like the channel subscribe to the channel we're all golden and one of you lucky people out there doesn't matter where you are in the world we'll ship it anywhere uh, we will we'll sort the uh, the prize draw out this time next week uh, I won't put a, a, an exact time on it but get that sorted and we shall speak to you soon thanks for watching